Um, absolutely nothing about Renee Rowland or her fans actually surprises me now. Uh, but the attacks are starting and I'm being accused of slandering this godly woman of, 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 of uh, damaging her reputation when she's done it herself. And uh, to the woman who is now accusing me of slandering Renee, slander is saying something false about someone. I have done nothing but expose all the lies she has told. And nothing is cleverly edited. I mean, she lies like a rug. I've heard from people now that have have told me that she's having delusions of you. She's telling people that you're making up channel names and you're um, you're trolling her channel, that you're contacting her. She actually tells people that I am calling her 24-7, disrupting her sleep, and she's got a child she has to get up with in the morning, and I won't stop bothering her. I mean, the lies go on and on and on. I would have no means or desire to message her or contact her. Um, that's not what I'm about. I am a genuine Christian. I do follow Jesus. And uh, these little uh, flying monkey minion fans of Renee Rowland who are accusing me of slander, uh, you need to get your facts straight and watch the videos and watch the sequence of all the lies she has told, all the money she has gotten, all the Christmas presents, the three new laptops, um, fake movie contract to make herself sound important. Uh, but this right here goes... Uh, back to when her baby was just born out of wedlock. I mean, she's the problem is with Renee Rowland, it's not her past that anyone is bringing up against her. Everyone has a past before you come to Jesus. What's deeply, profoundly disturbing about this woman is at the same time she has a past, she's attempting to market Jesus. He has been a commodity to her all along. He's been a means to financial gain. So, um, but before I, I uh, read you this, her Team Glory Glam Scam, um, I want to read to you a scripture. Uh, many will follow, uh, but false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them. I mean, she preaches an intellectual ascent that he came, died, was buried, rose again on the third day, but she denies, wickedly denies his teachings, his commands, and his warnings, uh, bringing swift destruction upon themselves. Many will follow their sensuality. She still smokes, too. Uh, and because of them, the way of the truth will be maligned. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Their judgment from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. She is exploiting people with false words. And uh, furthermore, uh, I wrote you in my letter, this is from 1 Corinthians 5, 9. I wrote you in my letter not to associate with immoral people. I did not at all mean with the immoral people of this world, or with the covetous and swindlers, or with idolaters, for then you would need, you would have to go out of the world. But actually, I wrote to you not to associate with any so-called brother, if he is an immoral person, or covetous, such as someone who always wants money in the name of Jesus, to the point that she will lie about fake illnesses, fake movie contract to make her sound important, um, fake healing when she obviously was not genuinely sick. She then did a video saying that she had been miraculously healed by God. And these people are believing it? Um, or a drunkard or a swindler, not even to eat with such a one. For what have I to do with judging outsiders? Do you not do you not judge those who are within their church, in the church? But those who are outside God judges, remove the wicked man from among yourselves. Um, okay, you know, I think we all know what a swindler is. But just to make sure we're all on the same sheet of music, I asked Google, what is a swindler? And Google said, someone who uses deception to deprive someone of money or goods. And that's exactly what this woman has done. And YouTube community needs to be protected from this fraud, this, this scam artist. She's defrauding the YouTube community. Look at this. And as I said, she just had her baby outside of wedlock. And there she is, marketing Jesus. Give me money. I want money in his name. That's what she's all about. The Christian clothing line will give 33%. Oh, by the way, before I say that, before I read this, Renee Roland Humphreys and her son, Jim Jim. Uh, she tells her her whole name. She puts her son's name. She's not hiding from a stalker like she has lied also about. Uh, I did talk to a cop one time about Renee Rowland and showed him her videos and her son. She puts she tells his name even in the titles and uh, she tells where she's living. She does a video. She does videos from her front porch showing her neighborhood and she 
says, a lovely day in Southern Virginia. She does a birthday show where she tells what her birthday is. She says, I'm in my last year of my 40s. She tells her birth date. Anybody, and she was known in Hollywood as Renee Rowland. Anybody who could simply Google her name, Virginia, will find her. So anyway, the goal of Glory Glam is to bring the youth back to the church, to learn the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to create awareness to the kids of how much God loves them. The clothing line will automatically be giving 33% to Believer's Church. Uh, I'd like to know what this Believer's Church was, where was it incorporated, who was the pastor, which is, distributes funds to many charities, medical, disaster, and relief orphanages around the world. Glory Glam will be a hip, youthful clothing line that will make Jesus cool and acceptable for this generation. Yeah, you know, the, the, this generation really needs clothes. Mm -hmm. That's going to that's gonna save their souls. Uh-huh. The uh, 5,511 is for the startup funds, core formation, and trademarking of the first line of t-shirts. Eventually, eventually, it will be a full international clothing line. Glory Glam will be bringing funds to the ministry and giving hope to the lost youth to prevent suicide, feelings of abandonment, and depression. Goal is to give joy and hope for today's growing generation. Line will begin with simple t-shirts such as God gives you a purpose on purpose and your matter matters to God and also darker themes with a picture of the skull mountain of Golgotha where Christ was crucified with text, Golgotha, it is finished. Now this is where... <laughs> Is mind-boggling. Jesus, original outlaw. I mean, <laughs> Jesus came to fulfill the law, and she calls him the original outlaw. And she also, I've I've read twice where she actually called Jesus the biggest ass kicker around. Can you imagine calling your Savior, the one who died on the cross for you, the eternal, immortal God incarnate, uh, an ass kicker, or the original outlaw? And some humorous text with biblical themes. Uh, the line will later be a full clothing line, including skirts, dresses, jeans, and accessories in the realm of Hot Topic and other stylish, useful design lines. Um, I, I would like to go back to this line that it will give hope to the lost, to lost youth to prevent suicide, feelings of abandonment, and depression. Uh, when I was in my teens, I went through all of these, and I didn't need clothes. I can guarantee you I didn't need clothes. I needed Jesus Christ, and he introduced himself to me when I was 17 in the Gospels. Um, but at any rate, I'm being accused of slandering this woman who has done nothing but attempt to market Jesus, and she has marketed him. She, he's been very lucrative to her. Someone sent me this. I didn't know how to look up YouTube uh, YouTubers' um, net worth, but she's made some $7,000 so far. Um, last month, 108. Of course, now that she's fully monetized, uh, uh, I'm sure she'll be making a lot more. When she unmonetized her channel, her old videos were still monetized. So she was a double dipper. Uh, she was making, uh, she had, she says she's, she's never asked for money. She's never asked for money. Look at this. Um, many viewers have asked how they may bless or support this ministry. Actually, she just started out telling them, um, go to PayPal and send to Roland Real Picks. And that's what she did in that video. I, I don't appreciate it being I don't appreciate being accused of slandering her when she said in that November 2017 video, I've never asked for money, but I'm trying to make it through the holidays. So I posted my PayPal. Then she says she's never asked for money. So, okay. Pope, PayPal and send to Roland Real Picks. And, or I've been told you may send financial gifts through pop money um, using this, or even Google Play, and it will walk you through the process. Um, give me money. I need money. You know what? This woman isn't smiling for the gospel. She is scamming for the gospel. Um, and, you know, if you believe that she's not marketing Jesus and that there ever really was a, a Glory Glam clothing line, um, hey, you know, I, I've got a couple of bridges in Brooklyn I'd love to sell you. Uh, of course, I'm joking. Um, I do not market Jesus, never have, never will. Um, and I'm just, I'm really shocked that at the extent to which she has deceived the YouTube community. And even now, when people are seeing these videos and seeing how she lied about the movie contract, how she lied about being deathly ill, uh, then she's she's claimed to be back in her chair. Then she's up walking around showing all the Christmas presents she got. And then she... Uh, actually claimed to be miraculously healed 
And this isn't an issue with these people? Um, I mean, come on, people. We're commanded in 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are of God. And uh, you're not even, we're not even supposed to associate with the covetous and swindlers. Uh, we're not even supposed to eat with these people. Uh, and then you're accusing me of judging her. Well, for what what have I to do with judging outsiders? Do you not judge those who are within the church? But those who are outside, God judges. Remove the wicked man from among yourselves. And um, my only goal in, do, in posting these videos is to prevent others from being defrauded. I've heard from people already who've told me that they sent her money, then they later found out that she was lying, and they felt foolish. And, um, you know, she's she's just a major... She's just a major YouTube scam artist, and the YouTube community needs to be protected from this fraudster.